All right, guys, so I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, there's not really, a, well, the one I posted a few days ago, I'm, I've had that for a while. I just haven't posted it. So, um, I haven't really had a reason to not make a video. I just haven't really felt like it, and I really haven't had a subject for one. If I would have made one, it would have been on something random. So this one is going to be on why you cannot engine brake on two-stroke, on modern two-stroke dirt bikes. So, uh, I guess we'll just get right into it. Uh, so as you guys know, you probably, most of you ride uh, some sort of four-stroke dirt bike, whether it be an air-cooled or a water-cooled, uh, Yamaha, Kawasaki, whatever. All brands make them. And they're great, I'm not saying they're bad or anything, but with those, you can engine brake. And what engine braking basically is, is uh, letting off the throttle and letting the compression of the engine slow the bike down. It's what I call, it's what I call the air compressor effect, because that's basically what an air compressor is. It just, yeah, anyway. So on four strokes, it has that oil reservoir inside of the engine that lubricates everything no matter what, if the engine's running, if the engine's running at all, it's going to lubricate every part of that engine. It's not done by the fuel, like in two-strokes. So you could do that as much as you want on four-strokes. Sure, it may cause you to uh, run a little lean, but it's not going to hurt anything. With two-strokes, you cannot do that with modern two-strokes. Now, I'm going to go over three types of two-strokes today. Uh, Oil-injected. I mean, a carburetor, carburetor oil-injected two-strokes, crankcase oil-injected two-strokes, and modern two-strokes, which are premix. Now, we'll start off with premix because that's probably all you guys care about, and that's not many people ride the old ones anymore. If you do, that's awesome. So, premix is where you, of course, you... Uh, Mix your two-stroke oil. Go ahead and mix up your two-stroke oil in your gasoline. And usually you'll identify it because it has a color like that. That's like pinkish. It's because I have two-stroke oil mixed in with that gasoline. And that's premix. The way this works is as the gas goes through the engine, I'm assuming you guys know what a two-stroke is. Like so. The gas, and the gas and oil mix goes into the carburetor, into the, this is a two-stroke carburetor, small two-stroke carburetor. So the gas and oil mix goes into this carburetor, and see that little throttle slide inside of there? That's what regulates your flow. Well, when you, uh, well basically the gas and oil mix goes through that carburetor and lubricates your engine, your bearings, your rings, your piston. Uh, everything in your engine except your gearbox so when you're at high rpm say you're say you're uh, like doing a top speed run you have it full throttle cranked and you just let off and let it slow down that's called engine braking and that's terrible absolutely terrible for premix bikes because if you shut down shut down that carburetor say you have this carburetor slide wide open letting in full throttle you shut that down that is going to cause potential damage to your engine because when you shut that down you're not just shutting down your fuel and air mix going to your engine you're shutting down your oil mix and all of your oil flow to your engine which will cause heat overheating possible engine seizure and it's just not not good so don't do it if you are doing that you have it full throttle let off and every couple seconds just give the throttle a blip and that'll give you that'll give your engine just enough oil to not seize basically or you could just hit the brakes and that slows the engine rpm rpm down quite a bit so with older two strokes most of them will be carburetor fuel injected and snowmobiles are like this too most of them new ones too so basically the oil So you have an oil tank. Usually your oil tank will be right under your seat. And there's a line that will flow to the pump. 
where the water pump is, about right there on your engine. Most of these bikes I'm talking about right now will not be water cooled, they'll be air cooled. So basically you'll have two of these little brass petcocks here, one for gas and a small one on the other side, or maybe on this side for oil. Well, your gas goes in there. You don't pre-mix any oil, you put straight gas into your tank, and there's a little pump that, based on engine RPM, no, based on throttle, how open your throttle is, that's how open your pump will be. And it sends the perfect mixture of oil into your carburetor to be mixed and shot into the engine. Those you should not engine brake on either because they, uh, once again, you shut down all of your flow to your engine, air, fuel, and oil. Not good. So with the other ones, what, what it will be is the same oil pump design, except it's based on your engine RPM, and it pumps oil straight into your crankcase. Same thing, perfect amount of oil, except not pumped into your carburetor, pumped into your crankcase. With this, you can engine brake, but you'll burn through a lot of oil. With these, uh, your engine will still be at a high RPM, and you shut down, you shut down your throttle. That's fine, because you still have the oil flowing to your engine because it's still at a high RPM. Now I had an old Yamaha MX100 dirt bike, old 100cc two-stroke, and it had this design. And what happened would be when you let off the throttle and engine brake in, say you're going down a hill, when you get on flat ground again and you open up that throttle, it's going to bog a little bit. And if you look behind you, there'd be a huge cloud of blue smoke because all of that oil is not getting burned, it's just getting trapped in your engine and then when you finally open the throttle, it's all of it gets like burned super fast. You can engine brake on those bikes. So, I hope that answered your question. A couple of my friends have asked this. If you're watching this, you're welcome. So, I hope that answered your question about two-stroke engine braking. Why you can and mostly why you can't. I don't know anything about snowmobiles, that's why I didn't go into that topic just dirt bikes and motorcycles so if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel or if you'd like to support the channel please subscribe that would be awesome and i'll see you guys in the next video